Hello, hello. It's Master Trainer and Certified Glue Specialist Solomon Pratt. And thank you all for being here. And today we're going to discuss BBLs. Stinking BBLs. Let's get into this though. So this one guy, I thought his video was hilarious, but it's it's unfortunately really, really sad. So he went on a date with this one lady that she had a popping body. She had her body done. Everything was looking good until he had her to take her pants off. Let him tell you what else happened. Yeah, those BBLs be stinking. So you guys may have seen this online that BBL smells is trending. And there are a lot of reasons for that smell, but I think that I will tell you guys a story about a girl that I dated and uh, I took her out and she had had a BBL. Her body looked crazy good. Like she had it done right. Her whole body looked amazing. So we linked up and we went out, had a really good time. We went to a Lakers game and then went to a spot by LA Live and had some dinner, had a really good time. And so she was like, so what you trying to do? I was like, yeah, let's go back to my place and relax, have a nightcap and see where it takes us. So we drive back to my spot. And so light the candles, get the music going, open up a bottle of champagne and we sitting there and we having a nice vibe. And, um, you know, we start getting into it and everything and clothes start to come off. And she wanted to give me a little show. So she was like, just stand right there. And so, like, she took off everything very seductively and got on my bed and started twerking that thing, right? And I was like, what the hell? Because at this point, she got nothing on. And I smelled the smell, and it hits my nose. Shit was like a, a salt of my nose. I hope that, I hope that he washed the bed. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And so I'm like, uh, baby, uh, not the main thing I want to know is, okay, is he going to still hit that after he's smelling, smelling that? So that's the main other question. To be rude, but I know we had a long day. Um, you're not smelling that fresh down there. I think you guys, I think you need to get into the shower and uh, go ahead and uh, freshen up. And she looked at me so embarrassed. I did it as gently as I could. But what I realized is if someone has had a normal. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So, so he smelled the funk of her ass like that. And it, it hurt his nose. And this motherfucker is still trying to hit it. Like, so, 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 so he still turned on to her having a big ass by him smelling shit coming from her ass. These motherfuckers. Normal size behind for all of their life. And then they switch up and now they got this big BBL. They they have to reach back there and really clean. You know what I'm saying? And if they're not used to doing that, they might not know that, hey, you sweat differently. Everything is different when you add that much more meat back there. That thing can't breathe as good. And uh, <laughs> so she ended up getting in the shower and everything. I had everything that she needed. And uh, I ended up clapping them cheeks. And it was much better. But some people, the smell, I think her smell was coming from just not being able to get back there and clean properly. But some people's smell is coming from what the excretions and what's coming out with the fat that they've actually put in to their bodies. So... You know, BBLs for me is just for fun. I, that's those women are for fun. Like you can't take women with BBLs, in my opinion, to parent-teacher conferences. They big old ass knocking over the little kids' crayons and stuff as they try to walk through the parent-teachers' conferences in them small ass classrooms. That's not really for me. That's for fun. That's for you know weekend fun. You know, wifey material is just regular natural women that you can build a family with and give a great life to. But that's one of my stories on BBLs. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Well, I mean, at least he was honest. But, man, he still hit that. I'm like, wow, smelling a whip of that funk and, and that tooey. Mm -mm. Yeah, he probably, he probably also ate those groceries. <laughs>
But yeah, yeah, yeah. So man, so I mean, I think that it's a little bit of both. You know, I I, I think that it does make sense if you have bigger cheeks now and then you do sweat different. But then I also think that it also go by off of the person. She just wasn't a a clean chick. So it can go it can go either way. But man, you know, so but this yeah. And then once again, this is another guy that he's saying that okay. Having a BBL is cool for her to have, but you know, but taking a woman seriously, they don't want a woman with a woman a woman with the BBL. You know, he hit it or whatever. But you know, but he want a woman, you know, that has good qualities that he can take to a parent teacher conference. So this is also a doctor that's gonna assert that's gonna break down the BBL and why it smells sometimes. What well, I think down there is gonna be a lot more difficult because there's more to reach around. So if you're around something with a BBL and they smell well, when you see an Instagram model travel for a cheaper price, understand it's not quite as pretty on the way back. Example A, we hope they find a comfortable seating position. Oh uh, yeah, so man, so that is so, so true. I think the first time I seen this was about a few years ago. Um, I was in uh, some airport. I, I think I was in Miami, probably, probably, probably down south. I think I was in Miami and I see these women, they can't sit in the chair and then they just have their arms on a chair. And I'm like, the first thing I thought, okay, she wants to have some work done to her ass, you know, so, but, and then this is the part that is so crazy though, which I'm going to show you all too. You can have an amazing body by putting in the work on toning your glutes and, and working each part of the glutes to come down to the, the glute medias, just working the glutes. You can pretty much build an amazing body, you know, by you just eating, eating right and pretty much just building up the muscle. So, but yeah, it comes down to the women have to want to do the work. Let me know which procedure you want me to expose next. So, yeah, so pretty much, you know, and even with me, and like Sexiest I train training. my clients, the nigga with the most game, it makes a big difference though. So, so definitely, I'm going to give you all a tip. So, this is pretty much um, <laughs> one of my clients that I had. And like how um, I had her doing the fire hydra. So basically, it's two ways of working the glutes if you want to get your glutes more fuller and rounder. So right now she's doing a a uh she's doing the the fire hydrant. So the fire hydrant is really good to activate the glute muscles. And it's two ways of training the glutes. It's vertical loading. It's just that's when you do stuff like squats. And lunges when you're moving the body going up and down. And the other way, which is more effective, is horizontal loading. So that's what she's doing now. So horizontal loading is when you're pretty much laying on your back or you're on all fours like she is now or even on your side. And then you're working the glutes. So that's the most effective way to work the glutes. And right now, so just doing a fire hydrant, that's really good for working all three parts of the glutes. And that's really good for strengthening the piriformis. So the glutes have three parts. It's the glute maximus, which is the biggest part. And then, and that's pretty much the part that people focus on the most. And that's pretty much the biggest muscle in the body. And it's also the glute medius. So that's the part that's on the top that goes on the outer part of the pelvis. That's the glute medius. So that also makes makes the glutes look good from the front and the side and make it come out. So, so yes. And then the last part, and this is the deepest part, which is the glute medius. So the glute medius is the smaller part. So yeah, so by by working and, and building the muscles in all three different parts, that makes your glutes look super amazing. So like I said, so the most effective way in training the glutes is doing horizontal loading. So with horizontal load exercises, like, like she's doing all four. So look at this. So with this, she has on the band. So the bands are really good for engaging the glutes. This also still works her stomach, works her core. It's also really good to get her hips stronger. And now, so, yep, so I put three of them moves together. Now that's the leg lift, so that also works the glute maximums. So that works that. So I put it together like that for a reason. So that tones the body. And you can hear me, yep. yep, yep. And now yep. I have her to finish off. Two. Now she's finishing off with the donkey kick. So this was like one of my top tier exercises that I did that had the women to grow their glutes like crazy because I would have them do all of the exercises on one side and that puts all that blood in the butt really good and then that forces it to change. 
And then, so this is like pretty much one of my signature moves that I had the women to do. But yeah, but definitely by just getting the right kind of knowledge, the right kind of training, the right kind of equipment, that can transform your body. And later on, I'm going to show you all how you can tell right away that a woman has a fake BBL. So I'm going to get into that though. But it's all about making that sacrifice, y'all. So yeah, so definitely. Uh, so these are my booty bands. These come in actually in a pack of three. So so yeah, so I, I'm pretty much having her to just uh, tuck that knee in so she can get more range of motion. And it also tones that stomach more too. So just that simple, y'all. By the women being willing to put the work in, they're going to get their glutes to grow. And then you're going to pretty much feel better. You're going to have more energy. You're not going to have. And, and a lot of times people have pain in their glutes. That's also a, a sign of you actually need to get your glutes stronger. So, yes, yeah, so when you have lower back pain, that's also a sign that you have weak glutes. When you have a. Um, when you have a. Uh, um, we have also knee pain as a sign that you have weak glutes. So let's look at this. So these, so these are some of the clients that I train. So look at this. So so she so when I trained her, so she went and got all the parts of the glutes fuller. And this is how you can tell. You can tell when a woman has a natural fit, a, a strong developed glutes because there's a few different ways you can tell. She still has toneness in her body. Her her legs are still muscular. That's the main reason how you can tell. And then really still, her thigh still pretty much matches up with the glutes. So hers is like a little bit bigger with the glutes because we did a lot of a, a, a special focus on that. And, but also, she can lift a lot of heavy weights with her legs. So that's also how you can tell. And the other way you can tell is uh, when you see a woman that has developed glutes, you're going to see her in the gym lifting some weight. The ones who just had the BBL, they just use the gym just to go and pose and in front. So, yeah, so that's how you can tell. And it's kind of funny. Speaking of the glutes, this is in this one picture. This one lady, <laughs> she has all natural glutes. So she's a warrior. So you can tell, even, even, even in this photo is right. Her thigh. So that's the other way how you can tell. You can tell that a woman has real glutes because her thigh and her glutes are going to match up. So when you see these women, they're pretty much, they have this, this, this big old uh, glute and she has this little thigh. You can tell that her glutes are fake. So everything has to match up. So everything looks good. So yeah, so that's what I like to do. So I like to work on all three parts, especially when you have that glute medius right. That also gives you like a nice shape from the side. She has a nice thigh gap. And let me pause this right here. So yeah, so it's four different common shapes for the glutes, y'all. Four different common shapes. It's the square shape, it's the heart shape, and it's the V shape, and it's the round shape. And then the most popular glute shape, because what happens is the surgeons have to go and pretty much look at a glute shape to go and pretty much uh, um, give you one when a person have the surgery done. So the most popular one is the heart shape. So I think in 20, 2018, it was about 25,000 surgeries that was made to shape and enhance the glute. So the heart shape is is because they have pretty much uh, a, a smaller waist, and it goes out, and then it, it it goes out, and then it comes in. So they also have more fat in the inner thighs. But one thing that happens is when people have this common shape, the uh, the uh, heart shape. A lot of times later on, they have saddlebags, and also later on when they get older, they, they get a lot of uh, belly fat. So that's the heart glute shape. And now the other glute shape is the uh, square shape. So in a square shape, it's because it's because at the top part of the uh, femur, it pretty much cuts off like that because of the uh, greater trochanter, because of, because of the bone structure. So, so that's the square shape. And then now at the bottom is the V shape. So the V shape is because of a person hormones so the hormones and also the shape of the bones is shaped like that so you actually can't change a person's uh bone structure the only thing that you can change is the fat distribution and the muscle you can change that and the last one is the round shape so the round shape is still pretty popular too it's popular enough 
where pretty much, you know, they have like a smaller waistline and then they have like more fat at their bottom parts. So, but, but then still, they don't, don't have as much fat in the inner thigh. So those are the four different glute shapes. So these are some of the clients that I train. So I got I got her waist to come in, her glutes are more fuller. She got like a nice little thigh gap so that coops can breathe. <laughs> so yeah, this I was talking about the different shapes. That's so that's the heart shape. So I'm see look, so this is this is like a perfect example of a nice heart shape. So you see how like how her thighs look good. Her thighs are not too big, and her, her glutes are still full, but it's not too big. When you see a woman with these fake glutes, her butt is, like, ridiculously round, and that's the main indicator. So you see how everything matches up, because it takes it take time to, you know, to build that muscle on the glute. So the glute is made up of fat, but then when you got a little bit of muscle, the, the muscle shapes it. Everything looks right. Yep, I had that over there. So, yep, even, even even with her, I got her glutes more fuller, her stomach is flatter. And that's the other thing that I tell women that they can do is you don't have to have a super big butt. If you have a flat stomach and you got some curves, guys actually prefer that anyway. That actually looks better. So, I got rid of her back fat. I got her glutes more fuller and rounder. And, and she has a thigh gap. So I got rid of her back fat. I still got her glutes nice and round. Her back, her back muscles look good, and it, and it, that looks so amazing. When a woman has a nice toned back, that really make her look good from behind. So it's not about having the biggest butt, you know. So it's about being toned and having a flat stomach. So I got rid of her back fat. I unbig her back. I did that. Now this is my bundle. So this bundle has changed lives. So this bundle. It's for the women that she just want to have the best butt possible. So this would come with three booty bands. So they were three different levels, just like out in the gym. You don't see nobody in the gym using the same kind of weight or the same size. They use different size weights. So that's how I have this structure uh, with, for working the glutes. They come with three booty bands. I come with three ankle bands. So this is really good to really, really work those glutes from different angles to really, really develop those glutes. So it's about working them like that. So for eighty nine dollars, this is another client. So I got rid of her back fat. It's really good to get that back nice and tight. That's me when I was at the Fit Expo. So yes, I was at the Fit Expo. I was a vendor in Los Angeles. Nice time. Yep, this is another client. I got rid of her back fat. Still got her glutes nice and and round and tone. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm also a certified glute specialist. So I specialize in building the glutes. So this people must have my clients to feel better, to be more mobile, to look better at anything that, anything that they wear or nothing on at all. So imagine how it'd be, ladies, if you're going on that first-class flight to whatever city you're going and then you're on that loading dock and your body feels and looks amazing. You got on that pretty sundress and then you're staying in that five-star hotel, and then your body looks super amazing. You can do it too. So yes, so I wanna thank you all for, yep, so this is also another exercise you can do, and this is really good for working the glutes. So this is a bridge. So the difference between a bridge and a hip thrust that most people don't know is the bridges are done on the ground, and also the hip thrusts are, are, are done pretty much by you being on a bench. So yeah, so even with this, so she has a few different placements and that's gonna affect the glutes differently. So okay, family, so I wanna thank you all for watching the video. So like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you later, we are out.